popo on the right here. What's going on? Everybody's slowing down. Uh, this don't look good. Usually when you see these guys back here by themselves, that means something bigger is happening uh, up ahead. So, he hope, the, hope nobody got hurt. Or, I hope uh, that was it, though. I don't know. We'll see. I'll keep the camera head oh, coming up. This has no relationship to the, uh, the popo in the previous clip, but they're out today. They are out in full force. And, uh, <laughs> the guy with the quad in the back of his back scoop was in front of me and passed me up, so I have to say, speeding. Aggravating deal. I'm in a tunnel. I can't go nowhere. I can't change lanes. It's illegal to change lanes in a tunnel. And I got somebody smelling my butt. Idiots. They're everywhere. Good lord, people. Get a grip. There, I get over. So you can burn it up. Come on, burn it up. Where you at? Where you at? I swear. Some people's chillings. He's holding up traffic. See him in the mirror? Now I got some popo up here. Virginia State popo, got him one. Ford something or other. <laughs> now people are passing that guy That's that was tailgating me. Man. It just <laughs> it it boggles my mind. I I got no words. Now you got Mr. Another Kia. Now uh, he's going under the speed limit in the left lane. You got one extreme to the next. Another popo got him one. Fifty-five miles an hour. And as a bonus, the lion's dead. Yeah, baby. Here it is. Exit now. Don't miss the lion's den. Continue 22 miles. Speed wrap. Double radar. Double radar. <laughs> That's cool. I don't think I'd get one, but they're cool. I think 
I got these. Zero total trans fat. Zero total carbs. And hey, look at there. Gluten free. Bonus. Kind of greasy. Best kind. Mmm. Yeah, these are good. Mm. Just the right crunch. It's got a little layer of like fat. Jog it! Mm. So I'm enjoying my uh. Ah. Jog it! Jog it! More jog it! Must be jog it day! Joggers don't know what they're missing. Where's the gas gauge? Well, before I... A little two blips on the right. Before I have an episode of... Uh, that I had when I went to go see Big Doug. Of uh, running out of gas. I'm gonna pull over and uh, refuel before it gets to that point. And uh, I am in DX Porker's neck of the woods. Sorry, DX. I uh, didn't get a chance to give you a call, let you know I'm coming through, but kind of just wanting to get home right now. I seem to always hit this one particular gas station. It's at the right place uh, in my fuel consumption. It's quite convenient. So I'll be back. Not to mention I gotta drain the main vein. <laughs> kind of makes you wonder, don't it? State Popo. Popo. -po. Pennsylvania Popo. -po. Alright, well it wasn't too bad, getting all the way up to the Fort Pitt Bridge, or uh, Fort Pitt Tunnel. I'm in the Fort Pitt Tunnel now, which I think the last couple of times I tried to take this route coming back from my business trip, it was backed up even way, like 10 miles before this point, and it would take, uh, you know, like an hour just to get to this point, to the Fort Pitt Tunnel. So. We'll see how fast, uh, it says I'll be home at 2.30. It's, uh, um, this is 2.37. It says I'll be home in seven minutes. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> but you never know, hey, I'll, I'll take it. Well, I hope I get home in about 10 minutes. We'll see. about these little itty bitty rear view mirrors this car's got. You can see who's right next to you, but you really can't get a view of, uh, you can't really get a view of uh, uh, on upcoming traffic behind you. So, yeah, so far so good. That was probably the worst part of it. The Tribune, the Trib. Yeah, people always trying to get in at the last minute over here. Exit 
right. And of course, the backup on 28. If you ever lived in Pittsburgh or spend any time in Pittsburgh, this is the bane of um, the east side. 28. Not too bad. I remember when I first moved up here, this place was a freaking parking lot 24 7 because they were doing construction. And uh, so, I mean, once you got here, you were just pretty much stuck and at the mercy of traffic. And about right here, there are a bunch of uh, panhandlers. This overpass here is a little uh, homeless homeless uh, community up there. They're not there anymore because the traffic is moving, but it's where, uh, where a lot of people were standing right here, panhandling. So, but you can still see it's, um, now they're doing construction on the other side. Good old 28. I don't know when this thing will ever get finished. By the time they get finished, they'll be widening up again because the, <laughs> there'll be more traffic on it. <laughs> but, yep. If you ever, uh, anybody says they're they're from Pittsburgh or they know about Pittsburgh, just mention 28 and watch them go, oh my God, 28. <laughs> But it's not too bad, not too bad right now. So I think I will make it home at uh, 2.38, 2.30. So eight minutes, hopefully I'll be home. See you when I get there. That flag's up for Memorial Day. Pretty cool. You know, that's, that's, that's neat, that's neat. I, I uh, <clears throat> have to admit, I'm, uh, I feel good. I feel good, uh, you know, for those who made the ultimate sacrifice, it's good to honor them. Oh, look. There's a groundhog or something down there, too. See him? What is that thing? Hey, Alan, 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 Alan. <laughs> you gotta just sit here in the road for a while, yeah. <laughs> eh, 241, not bad. Home sweet home. It is good, 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 good to be home. Hopefully I'll be here for a while. Thanks for coming along, and uh, catch you in the next video. Later.